Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we will guide you through creating an image using Illustrate AI from design bundles, and then we'll explore a useful Photoshop technique for comprehending image resolution. Specifically, we'll be delving into the process of converting an image from 72 ppi to 300 ppi. Let's jump right in. Utilizing the prompt. Close-up portrait of a cute cartoon bunny during summer vacation, turquoise water, funny, cute, adorable, digital painting, cute illustration. As for the art style, I will opt for digital art, and I have included additional words in the negative prompts to minimize the occurrence of randomly generated signatures. Click the Create button when you're prepared, and allow a minute for the images to be generated. Once you've found images you're satisfied with, click the Publish and Upscale button to publish and obtain a larger version. After a brief moment for the image to be published, use the green Download button to save the image to your computer. I'm downloading this as a PNG image. And there you have it, a neat 4096 pixels image at 72 ppi. Now, let's open this PNG image in Photoshop. As you can see, it's a large image at 72 ppi, which is typically a standard resolution for screen displays. But what if you want to print this design? You might have heard about the 300 ppi standard for print quality. Let's explore that. Go to Image and select Image Size. You'll see the resolution is set at 72 ppi. Now, if we change this to 300 ppi, notice that when we change the pixel dimension, is not 4096 pixels anymore. We don't want our pixel size to change only the resolution. To fix this, we uncheck Resample. The pixel dimensions remain the same. Only the document size, or print size, changes. This is crucial. Changing this value doesn't mean we're enhancing the quality. It just tells us at what size it will print with this new pixel density. Click OK and now your image is at 300 ppi. If you go to the bottom left, click on the arrow, and select Document Dimensions, it will show you both the dimension and the ppi. Here's additional information for your reference. Feel free to pause the video and delve deeper into the details. And there you have it. A simple trick to understand and adjust image resolution for your designs without compromising their quality. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for more design tips and tricks. Until next time, happy designing!